Hi everybody, I'm uh, Joachim, and I'm going to talk about the speed services that we will uh, that we are providing for Nextcloud Talk to um, support more users and larger installations. Um, yeah, you all have heard about Nextcloud Talk enough, so uh, I don't have to repeat everything again. Um, so I'm talking about a um, quick overview about uh, how WebRTC works and what it is. So WebRTC basically is a peer-to-peer -peer connection between two clients. Uh, and over that peer connection, there can be uh, different uh, streams. There can be audio, video, data, and uh, also screen sharing. And in order to establish that peer-to-peer -peer connection, the clients have to communicate using uh, the signaling messages to actually set up the connection. So um, parts of that um, signaling messages are uh, negotiation of the codecs that are being used, that um, the streams uh, in the peer connection, and also the endpoints um, over which the clients can be reached. So it's IP address and port, and there are special handling required um, to support uh, clients behind a net or a firewall. Um, so that setup uh, requires multiple messages. There's an off and answer uh, first being sent containing all the uh, codecs, and then there are multiple candidates containing the IP addresses and the ports. And these have to go through a central server because um, before the actual setup, the clients don't know each other yet. So with uh, Nextcloud Talk, if you just install the regular app, everything goes through Nextcloud. The messages are stored in the database, and the clients are using long polling, get and post requests to actually send the messages to, the, uh, to Nextcloud and to retrieve them from there. And uh, on Nextcloud, a PHP request is being handled and is uh, polling the database for new messages. This, of course, uh, has a rather high latency. Um, the streams are all peer-to-peer, -peer. so um, if there are multiple people communicating with uh, each other, everybody has to establish a peer-to-peer -peer connection with all the other peers and has to encode and decode all the streams for each participant, so that um, requires a rather high CPU and uh, upstream bandwidth. With the speed services, we want to improve uh, all of these things. So first um, is the um, standalone signaling server. It's using uh, web sockets for communication, so there's no um, get and post involved. Can, uh, messages can be sent directly, and um, there's no additional latency involved uh, besides the actual network latency. Um, also, events from Nextcloud are distributed through that signaling server to the clients. For example, if um, a user is invited to a new room, he gets an event to, have, to refresh the room list. And that signaling server is implemented in Go. The other service is the uh, WebRTC gateway, or the MCU. Um, it can distribute the streams between um, different users, and um, it's using a pub-sub pattern, so a user publishes his stream to the uh, WebRTC gateway, and other clients can subscribe the stream from the uh, gateway. We're using the open source project uh, Janus for that, have integrated it in the uh, signaling server, and uh, Janus is implemented in C. We provide packages for Ubuntu, so it's the uh, current or the last three LTS releases, um, and customers can install all these components on their own server, so it's still self-hosted even if the data is no longer really peer-to-peer, -peer, but it's going through that central server. We have um, already first setups, um, including some regional government customers. Um, the third service, um, you has already mentioned it briefly, is the SIP telephone integration that can be used uh, to dial into WebRTC calls, so you can join the next cloud talk uh, call by telephone. Um, we have scriptable um, workflows, you can customize all the voice prompts and everything. So how does, uh, does that look like? Um, we have uh, the clients communicate to Nextcloud and to the uh, different services which are all interconnected. I have to speed up a little bit. And um, yeah, so the signaling is directly no more um, long polling uh, involved. And also the streaming goes through the WebRTC gateway, so every client only has to publish his stream once, no matter how many uh, subscribers are there because everything goes through that gateway. Um, on the roadmap, um, currently all that setup is not supported with the mobile apps, so this is something that needs to be worked on. Um, we will also work on providing high availability support and redundancy, so uh, you can have multiple of these signaling servers and gateways. Um, we will package for other distributions besides Ubuntu, depending on, depending on customer demand, 
and uh, further optimize everything. Also, we want to support um, simulcast streams, meaning that um, a client is publishing his stream in different resolutions and with different um, bandwidths, and the uh, gateway then selects for the clients um, the best stream that they should receive. Also, we're working on H.265 screen sharing to further reduce the bandwidth, and um, we are working on a, a desktop app for Nextcloud Talk um, that is being built with uh, Qt or uh, native code. That's it. If you have questions, feel free to ask me. Thanks. <laughs>